Hello and welcome back to the Snook Nook. About a month ago, I was at Grind AVL in the River Arts District when I saw this beautiful painting entitled Fluidity by Naomi Waller on display. I was lucky enough to be able to take it home to share with my family, and I am feeling just as lucky to have had the opportunity to interview Naomi this week. Enjoy. Hello and welcome back to the Snook Nook. I am Simone Snook, Realtor with Unicorn Realty at Fathom. Mm -hmm. I have the pleasure today of being here with Naomi Waller. Naomi is an artist and the founder of Yoki Styles. So thank you so much for talking with me today, Naomi. And thank you so much for having me. <laughs> so excited to be here and surrounded by your beautiful art. I also recently uh, bought a piece of yours and I love it so much. It just mm -hmm. brings me such joy yes. when I look at it. So it brought me joy to make it. Oh, good, good. <laughs> I maybe I could feel your joy as I'm, yes, as I'm experiencing mm -hmm. it because it just makes us all, uh, me and every member of my family, so happy when we uh, see it. So I'm so glad. Mm -hmm. uh, first of all, tell me about where you're from originally and how you made your way here to Asheville. Okay, so originally, I mean, well, I'm from several different places mm -hmm. <laughs> because my father was in the military, and okay. so we moved around a lot. Um, overseas, um, United States, but I came here from Las Vegas, Nevada. Okay. I was living there for five years, five years, and prior to that, I was living in Colorado Springs. Um, I moved here because I met my husband, Bruce Waller. Mm -hmm. uh, many, many people know him. He, he's definitely a community uh, man. He loves community and building outreach. Um, bringing people together. He calls himself the Together Specialist. So 2017, we got married here, December 18th. Mm -hmm. um, and we've been here since, so that's about five years now. Which we met through ministry okay. um, and we are connected to the same ministry, but I was in Las Vegas at the time and he was here. Okay. Um, we met, um, I guess we caught each other's eye on Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> And we had one conversation, and in that one conversation, we both knew that we wanted to experience life together. Well, tell me a bit about your art and how you started making it. Yeah, so it was when I moved here. So when I lived in Las Vegas, I don't think I was heavily invested in my creativity. I was just trying to make it, mm -hmm. you know, um, very young. Um, uh, but I was a cosmetologist, I'm a cosmetologist now, but I was working, managing a super cuts. Okay. So that was kind of like my, my life and then my life to Christ. I had an experience with Christ. I gave my life to Christ. It was then that I started doing little things like little art, artistic mm -hmm. things, um, through meditation. I would like paint whatever I would see. And then when I moved here, I fully invested in that because I came out here not knowing anyone mm -hmm. and I needed a hobby. I needed something to keep my mind sane. I was very quiet here because in Las Vegas, you yes. you can get into a whole <laughs> lot out there. So it's oh, never oh. like a dull moment there, but coming here five years ago, you know, there wasn't a lot. Yeah. We're built, we're growing now. And um, I spent a lot of time with God at the time and also painting. Mm -hmm. Like painting was my a space of serenity it was my peace it was where I would speak to God it was where he would speak to me mm. he would show me vivid colors and stuff that's why a lot of my paintings are so vivid mm -hmm. because when I'm in that space with him that's what I see very little vivid you know yeah. vivid colors and motions and <clears throat> how they combined and stuff like that integrate together. And Bruce recently started collaborating together mm -hmm. yeah, as artists. Uh-huh. Okay, tell me a little bit about My that. husband, he is a, a genius in digital work. Um, so in, when you know how to do, when you're an expert in one thing, you could actually branch out to do multiple things, mm -hmm. you know? And he's a very creative man, but we're created different ways. So with him learning how to use um, AI, like all the like new technologies and stuff, you know, that that are being presented to us, he started creating artwork, his own like digital artwork. And he would show them to me. And I remember him coming home one day with a canvas. He put it on canvas, his piece of art. Mm -hmm. And I said, well, let me jazz that up some. <laughs> let me put some of my creativity on there. And that's when I 
put my, you know, my my jazz on there and, and it became the mashup. We call it the mashup. I love that. So oh, that's, that's our so collaboration. Great. We're working with one another. It's wonderful when you can work together mm-hmm. as well as, yeah, as you said, share your lives together. Share that's your really lives cool. together. Mm-hmm. Yeah, especially when you're married, you yes. want to share something together, you know, and that's our way of sharing our life together. What are some of the things you're, you're hoping to, to do this year? Well, I would like to graduate, okay. which I will in May. May 13 is actually my graduation date, so I'll be a licensed cosmetologist instructor. And in the meantime, uh, I would like to create curriculums around um, maintenance and care for textured hair, mm-hmm. which I am working on right now behind the scenes. Mm-hmm. Um, but when I graduate, my goal is to step out into the community and teach uh, professionals how to maintain um, and care for hair, different hair textures. Mm-hmm. Um, I actually just launched a book, which I want to launch several other books, um, cause I did write a lot of books in COVID. I just never launched them, mm-hmm. but I would like to have those books out by the end of the years and also doing classes around okay. books. Let's yeah. So this. this is actually my journey uh, to forgiveness. So I wrote, I'm going to just look at, Oh yes, memory. absolutely. So it's called, um, the woman, which is, um, something that I got out of meditation was, God was revealing, you are a woman, but I want to develop you into your authentic self. Um, I think that women have had many challenges um, throughout the years of really just accepting who they were versus someone telling them who they needed to be. Mm -hmm. Um, And so as I've been, uh, my journey with God, he's been showing me things that I've had to let go of. Mm -hmm. I've taken some things in, I've taken some hurt, some trauma, some, some ideas, you know, that were not necessarily good for me in the space that I'm going. Mm. So in writing the women seven days to her forgiveness was uh, seven days of me bringing everything together within multiple months of Mm. him teaching me how to let go because letting go is a, is a gift. It's also a strategic strategy that we must learn. Everyone has to learn it because we have a tendency to hold things in, you know, and we don't know how to let go. And eventually it becomes a burden. Um, And for me, it became that. Mm -hmm. Um, And even now I'm still walking towards that, Mm -hmm. that step, those steps to to freedom and loving the people that are around me, genuinely loving them and honoring them and forgiving them. So, yep. So seven days to forgiveness book is a seven day challenge as well as I created a journal. Like it just me being creative, you know, like your thoughts, your, you know, what would you, what would you say to God? What would you ask him? You know, I'm not God whatsoever. I don't want to uh, show that. I don't want to be that for anyone. Mm-hmm. They have to do their own walk, yeah. but it's just a, a substitute. So a guide, a guide mm-hmm. to, to, to bring awareness that is possible. What are some of your favorite places to go in the area or things to the do? Things that I love about Asheville is the, the, the scenery. Asheville is so green. It's a reminder that things are always growing, to have hope, to keep pushing, because even you'll see all seasons here. Like when I lived in Vegas, you didn't see all seasons. Right. <laughs> it was just hot or cold, one or the other, so you don't have that in between. But coming here, it was just a big eye opener that um, beauty is mm-hmm. real, because this is a beautiful place. But I've been hiking. I've been really? to a few hiking spots. I don't know the name. Brian Hill, which yeah. is such a wonderful it is wonderful place and a wonderful mm-hmm. gathering place so i'm sure you you spend a lot of time i do <laughs> yeah and yeah. some of my artworks in there yeah. and stuff so that's a great opportunity for me to showcase yeah. what i do in the community and um yeah and and you know my husband's hard work mm-hmm. <laughs> i'm mm-hmm. very proud of him he, he does a lot yeah. he inspires me both of you i'm just mm-hmm. so involved in the community and and really it's just wonderful mm-hmm. tell me about one person from your childhood who really inspired you and what they taught you? My mother. Yeah. Yeah, my mother is a single mom. She had three mm-hmm. kids. Um, she did um, all the work. <laughs> she she worked um, diligently. She was very much committed to home, very much committed to our success and education. Um, even though we didn't always follow the way, mm-hmm. I look back now and know how much of an impact she was in my life. Like. She doesn't know that I won't tell her this, but even when she was broke down, mm-hmm. she went, she was so strong that she couldn't even share that. But even when she was in her moments of being broken, 
I look back now in my moments when I'm like that mm. to pull from her strength because she never gave up. Yeah. Don't yeah. take me there. You're taking me there. <laughs> oh, yeah. But, no. Yeah. I mean, she never gave up, even though it was just very difficult, you know. Um, so we didn't have the male figure in our home or anything like that. So she was all of that and some in a bag of chips. Yeah. <laughs> My mama is Korean, so she did barely spoke English. She learned off of soap operas. My goodness. Yeah, she wow. learned how to speak English through soap operas and uh, managed to get her license in cosmetology because she's still a cosmetologist over okay. 30 years. And um, she just made it happen. Wow. Like there, there, was, there was no excuses for me. That's how I look Lisa, at it when I see her. Yes, as as a mother now, I appreciate. I thought I appreciated my mother, but I appreciate her so much more now. And you know, it's, it's you don't it's when tough. you're younger. You can't really, <laughs> not the way that you should. <laughs> not the way until you get your own kids yeah. and your own life. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I was like, oh my god, this is what you were talking. Well, about. yes, I am a woman who prays. I'm also a women woman that meditates. Mm -hmm. I do believe that you have to seek within to find um, who you are. Mm -hmm. And in my discovery to finding who I was, um, I found beauty. Mm -hmm. And it's actually a gift of mine where I'm able to see um, the best in people, um, even when they're not at their best. Mm -hmm. So uh, people always tell me like you're such a great encourager and uh, you, you inspired me to keep going well because I can see their greatness I can mm -hmm. see what God sees in them versus what's happening you know and mm -hmm. and I have been on both sides where I have not been great not felt good about mm -hmm. myself or anything like that to the till now I can walk past the mirror and say oh I look good today <laughs> <laughs> even if I didn't Put my makeup on or anything i could just wake up and feel good about myself and i think that's ultimately what people want they seek for that they buy for that they buy products you know mm -hmm. they try all kinds of things to really experience that part of them and i think i'm just that gift mm -hmm. like we all are gifts i know my gift is to show people beauty in all aspects mm -hmm. beauty has no limit it's not confined. It doesn't want to be confined. It, it doesn't have any rules. Mm -hmm. You know, it's a very creative uh, spirit. Mm -hmm. It moves how it wants to move. Mm -hmm. um, even things that are considered dark are actually the beauty. Mm -hmm. You will uncover beauty through darkness. And I have recognized that with myself and been kind to myself, even in the most darkest times of my life, that there's actually beauty that resonates from, from it. Mm -hmm. I know. I love that. Yeah. Thank you for sharing. Yeah, that. thank you. <laughs> <laughs> as far as the art, um, you can look at Grind, ABL, okay. but also on my website. So it's www.ayokistylesbeautycollection.net. Perfect. I will put yes. a, um, a link to that as yes. well. And then with the book, I'm actually doing a seven uh, day challenge here in April 1st. Um, and it's just, it's an asynchronous class where the individual can go on in the privacy of their own home and walk through the steps. I'll have the videos in there, you know, to help mm -hmm. guide them and stuff. And then on the last day I do zoom to where we could, you know, uh, talk about our little experience and stuff like that and how I could maximize that experience for others. That's in April, but you can find that on uh, the books are on Amazon and uh, the seven day challenge is actually, I have a link to that as well. That's on my Facebook. Um, yeah. So, <laughs> well, thank you so much for taking the time to talk with me today. I just love your work and I'm so excited for yeah. all the things you're doing. Uh, and yes, thank you. Thank you so much lovely. for thinking of me. Have a wonderful day. Thank you. Thank you. Take care. <laughs>